welcome to another vlog vlogverse i'm just sitting on the couch trying to wake myself up because i slept through my alarm when my alarm went off i was like i just need a little bit more sleep and now i woke up and i have the biggest headache and i need food so we're gonna make breakfast we're gonna make coffee i have a really really busy day today i think i'm filming three campaigns and i need to edit and send it all off at the same time so yeah let's make some breakfast and get the day started <laughs> by the 1st of December leading up to Christmas so I saw this at the Lancome event and I wanted to buy one and then the brand very very kindly offered to gift me one so I can actually experience it because most of the times I work with a brand and I unbox it and like do the whole thing at once and create content around it and I never really have one to experience like day by day leading to Christmas leading up to Christmas so I have the Lancome advent calendar and you can kind of see what you get in the back but I'm going to open this with you babies every day. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so happy I have this. Oh, I need to keep it upright. Oopsie.
kind of rainy day today so i thought i would just be like comfortable with black leggings a little red pop of christmas festive it says c'est la vie paris Paris, I wore it in Paris on a honeymoon. I still need to take the tag off. But yeah, my hair looks like this because I'm going to get my hair done now. I wanted to unbox the advent calendar, some of the numbers with you because we are we are a little bit behind in terms of advent calendar unboxing, but I'll do that when I look cute and I have cute hair. <laughs> so let's go. with my updos and like just styling my hair in a different way but I didn't want to wash it before Gizilla did my hair because I wanted my natural oils to kind of build up and protect my hair because I knew we would probably like do thicker pieces because I want to go back to my older hair before I started prepping for the wedding I wanted to go a little bit blonder for the wedding and because we only had like a couple of months to do it you kind of have to do a lot of foils um but I really miss like my natural hair color which is kind of like this but with some money pieces very randomly just like flowing in between so I kind of asked her to do like random paintings you know one high one lower one high one higher instead of just filling the whole thing and then you have that very prominent grown out line which we're trying to kind of she blended my roots just to kind of get rid of that um so hopefully in the next few months next year i can just go back to my low maintenance blonde because i used to only go to her twice a year like before my birthday and kind of into the new year now i went before the wedding obviously like a few times before the wedding um i went before my birthday and now before christmas so i really just want to go back to twice a year because my hair is so fine it doesn't really like hold up all that well with bleach that's why i wanted to just protect it with as much natural oils as possible and i kind of loaded it with product but um i think i overloaded my hair with protein so some of the strands broke off a little bit but it was very very minor and i feel like the big cut also just did a lot in terms of the health of my hair it feels a lot better i just have like so when we cut the hair um the girl that was at the, the salon with me, she asked me like how we do it. So I like one length at the back, but I do like a little bit of a layer. I had one length for so many years. I remember I grew out my hair completely. I didn't dye it or anything for three or four years. So it was like my natural color completely. And I liked the blunt cut at the back. But then one day I just asked Gisela to just play with my hair and just cut it like at an angle, at a slant like this. So that's all we do. We literally just go like this. When I say we, I say Gisela does it. But like I tell her what to do and I'm so grateful for her because she does exactly what I want her to do. I allow her to just, you know, be creative and love what she does, but I love that she just listens to me. Like, I told her today she can cut off as much hair as she wants, and she still says, like, okay, I'm going to cut off this much, and I was like, okay, yes, it's 
fine. So absolutely love her. Highly recommend her. Her little girls are just the sweetest. And she's pregnant with another girl. Going on number three. It's crazy. But I'm so happy for her. I wanted to open one of the boxes or like a couple of the Lancome boxes with you. But like I said last night, I wanted to cook with you. I wanted to like, you know, I showed you a little bit. But I just, I ran out of talking airtime. And now I'm babbling on. But anyways, my lipstick, because I know you're going to ask is Revlon, feels a little bit wrong to wear a different brand to a brand event, but I'm going to NARS, to the launch of NARS, but I don't have any NARS products, I've never tried NARS, I've kind of played with them in Sephora when we were in Turkey and in Paris, but I've never actually, you know, purchased anything or like fully tried any of their products on me, so yeah, hopefully I can play around a little bit tonight, but the lipstick I'm wearing is from Revlon. It's the Colorstay Suede Ink in shade Lip Bloom. Love. Okay, let's head to Mall of Africa. But yeah, what the crazy rain. What in the crazy rain? Literally just came out of nowhere. I couldn't even see the lines as I was driving. So I'm, it's 21 minutes, well, two, 22 minutes past nine. And I just arrived at Brain's Cricket. He's done playing. This is actually his second game after his surgery. I was a nervous wreck last week watching him play for the first time again after having open heart surgery. It's been, I think, six or seven months. Isn't God just amazing with his recovery? I just, it feels so good to just live life and just go to events and just meet up again with him, have him enjoy his cricket, something that he loves. So yeah, I'm gonna head inside with this very sparkly outfit. We got a little gift. I don't know what it is. I'm so curious to see. I wanted to buy something. Ooh, a little brushing. I wanted to buy something, but they didn't have my shade. Oh, it's, oh, it's a mini blush. Was it a bronzer? I think it's a blush. How stinking freaking cute. I've never seen a blush so tiny in my entire life. How cute. Okay, leave these. Let's head inside. <laughs> Good morning, my leafies. Catching me in the car again. I am just heading to the mall. <clears throat> <coughs> this heat has been killing me because we've been sleeping with the aircon on. And then with load shedding, it goes off and on. So it's like heat and then cold. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm heading to the mall. I want to get something for my campaign I'm shooting I had an idea this morning so I want to buy like a little outfit 
and just pop into the mall like really quickly. Very Merry Christmas, we'll have this year. Very Merry Christmas without all tears. Every night, every day is a happy holiday. A very Merry Christmas to you. Oh, The yours and your this year. They're good yours. But they're just tired yours. But we're gonna we're working on passion at the moment. We're just we're not working on energy. We're working on passion, creativity, we're just kind of you know <laughs> I wanna change this tree. I don't love it anymore. I love it, but I've had it up for, when did I put it up? Like kind of early-ish, mid-November, so it's been up for a month. And normally I have the tree bare for a little bit. And you know what it is? It's the red lights I got. I'm not loving the red lights. Did you see my cup? <laughs> How cute am I? <laughs> um, so yeah, I got some roses. If you are looking to maybe do the same, don't go to Clear Water Malls, Mr. Price Home, because I took them all. I took 22. There were a few left, but they were ugly. You kind of picked out the nice ones. Like some of them were like a little bit damaged. So I picked out the nice ones. So I'm going to do that later. I am, however, going to work very, very fast because I didn't leave myself enough time to film, but um, yeah, I'm going to work very fast. It's going to be quite a simple video. I wanted to create like a real kind of cozy, vibey, I'm not going to put a lot of makeup on, I'm literally just going to kind of be bare face so I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on but very I'm so sorry for the washing machine she's also kind of living on a little bit or working on passion at this stage um so yeah I want to do something a little bit different I look terrible my goodness just looking at myself in this viewfinder she's looking like someone that needs a holiday <laughs> i don't feel like that too much um i don't feel like i need a holiday i'm just tired like i just need a cozy night in and i think that's what we're gonna do tonight because brain is actually on his um what do you call it his year end function oh my goodness on tiktok that sound that's going around um if you're working for the wrong company and your year in function or like your your year in party looks like and the boss messages you saying meet you in the canteen <laughs> so funny i don't have a year in function i am a team of one and i kind of need to take myself out but i feel like a lot of the brands that i've worked with like body shop um Vogue, like a couple brands have hosted nice events for like the closing of the year. So I'm kind of taking that as my year end function, but I did book something for us for next week. A little massage, a little, um, you know, BB day. So it's gonna just be that kind of year end function. But I told you that bows are gonna be my entire popped into the visa did i not spend way too much money on bows you can basically make yourself but you know what it has like the little clip and everything so i paid like a thousand rand on these bows i got a little black one i got this one for my video that i'm doing now because i'm doing a video with body shop and um 
I'm highlighting the Cherries and Cheer collection. So I really wanted to go in for, you know that throw tablecloth that I have on the couch? I wanted something like that, something very cheerful, something very Christmassy. I was hoping H&M would have, um, yeah, you wouldn't tell that I did my hair yesterday because, I mean, look at it from the rain last night. Um, but anyways, I'm going to do it now and I'm just going to make it like nice and cozy, nice and built in. But yeah, I wanted to find, potentially find like a cherries pajama set at H&M. But I'm actually glad because if I bought that, I probably wouldn't have worn it again. This, however, I will wear again and again and again and will potentially reuse it for Valentine's just like with the roses. So go mapping. You know it's kind of free if I use it for two occasions it's kind of free you know if I can get multi uses out of it it's worth the buy you know so I got this little set it has this rosy mauve mauve how do you even say that word I just say mauve mauve <laughs> pink rosy pink dusty pink that is the word um, and then it has not necessarily red but exactly this red it's like it's meant to be so it's not like my nails red it's more like a deep cherry deep burgundy luxury velvety red that makes sense and then it comes with top so it's pajamas so i'm really gonna do like a proper self-care vibe just you know this machine is really going hey she's been spinning she's been spinning oh i must get the coffee cute coffee i got a ginger ginger nut latte thingy and then i this i didn't try on i also didn't try this on i just got a medium well done girl how do you feel after all of that spinning must be dizzy um okay so i got this not sure for what but i got the cream one with the bejeweled chain neckline and i got so many compliments and it fitted me so nicely so you can literally wear these with jeans with a skirt with anything and it's just like a dressed up piece but it's not you didn't put a lot of effort in it and this is like christmas red so yeah i got that now it feels so quiet all of a sudden. And then, oh, the other bows. You see, like, my mind is everywhere. So I got the black one. The black bow. I got the red bow. And then I got this one. This one was just, like, giving Chanel, which I really liked. And then the black one. These are expensive. They're, like, $2.50 a bow. Like, what do you even mean? But, yeah, they're proper. There's a clip on it and everything. I tried to make one yesterday, but it just feels dodge. And these ones have two. You can literally like layer them too, or just like one. So I'm really excited about that. What else did I get? I can't even remember. Oh, these little earrings. Just very fun and like something different. Very cute. Very Merry Christmas.
I removed majority of my makeup. I'm gonna do my nails now. But yeah, I just took a little wipe and wiped all over my face. Got the red lipstick off. That Revlon red lipstick, the color stay suede ink. If you are looking for a red lipstick that stays, I promise you, it is thebomb.com it is so good you have to scrub it off so i just took like a little cotton round with some toner makeup remover and just cleansed my skin and i i just avoided my um mascara i'll take that off tonight when i wash my face but i feel like my skin is looking so nice and bright and luminous excuse the pun since using the Nivea luminous range it's apparently the best seller for anti-dark marks and I've been wanting to try it for the longest time because I have like little freckles they're much lighter now since using this Nivea luminous range for a couple of days now I like my freckles but I like them a little bit more like sun-kissed and not like sun smooched if that makes sense so just like a very light kiss from the sun not like really dark sunspots and i get them quite easily because i'm fair and i feel like so much of us women can relate with dark spots especially with our intense sun so yeah, I highly recommend it. I'm trying to see how much lighter I can get this little spot. I don't actually know where this is from. This is new. I've had it. Hmm, I must think now. I think I've had it since I think just after the wedding. I'm not actually sure, but yeah, it's just like a little dark mark that I don't know what it is it might be like a freckle and then i have a couple over here and quite a bit on my nose it gets intense when i'm in the sun a lot and obviously the day cream has spf 50 which is really great and i put another spf with it so i feel like that's also helping but yeah i'm gonna do my nails do you know what i want to do i want to do you know the hailey bieber glazed donut nails i want to do the glazed candy apple nails i don't know if that's a thing it might be a thing but i just thought that glazed donut with the red might look really pretty i don't know who am i like who the hell am i with this red train but i'm really just loving the red um gonna do the tree at a later stage um i might tonight take some of the bubbles off or just everything off and see how i feel but yeah i'm gonna i started this thing now on the tv and now i need to restart it and play it from the beginning again um not sure what i'm gonna have for dinner because brain isn't eating here tonight like i said he's at his year in function so i don't know what i'm gonna cook i might just do girl dinner girl dinner but yeah, where's the remote? Let me do my nails. Light of every Merry Christmas. Oh, we'll have this year. Very Merry Christmas. A joyful cheer. A very Merry Christmas. Oh, let me hear. Very Merry Christmas. What do you think of the nails, my lady? Brain also got me my annual Christmas bouquet. I actually kept some of the pieces from last year. I kept the acorns and those little red thingies over there. But I just love it so much. I wanted to cook dinner with you again. So it is the end of the day. I spent my entire day in pajamas. Did a little bit of editing, admin, just planning and shuffling things around. Because I wasn't able to work this weekend and get everything done that I wanted to because I was a little bit sick so Friday I did my nails love my nails love the little bit of a sparkle although I'm gonna be honest I miss my Frenchies I don't know just like the tree I love the tree but I'm looking forward to just a clean like decluttered home soon so i think if i just change up the tree a little bit and just make it a bit more like you know 
not so busy because I've never had a busy tree like this. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I really do love it. But I think if I just switch things up, I'll just feel a little bit more myself because Christmas is not even here yet and I'm keen to just take everything down and just like do a New Year's reset. I think it's because I was sick and I just feel like uh, I just want to clean everything and all of that. But I was sick over the weekend. I don't know from what but I think I either had food poisoning or a really bad stomach bug. Um, I couldn't keep anything in for like two days I think mostly for one day and then I was recovering all throughout yesterday started eating normal food again like here and there very bland food so today I feel a little bit hungry because I haven't eaten properly in three days today I also haven't eaten much because I'm scared <laughs> I'm scared for it not to stay in so I want to try and just incorporate like a little bit of cheese again like you know a little bit of fats. So I'm gonna do the crispy chicken braised strips and I want to do a bit of potatoes and like veg with maybe like a little bit of sauce and cheese on top. So I try to eat very bland. I ate very little over the weekend so I'm feeling a little bit hungry but yeah, I don't know what was wrong. Must have been from something I ate, maybe from the event because that's the only thing I had differently to bring. And he had his urine function food and he's like fine, like he didn't catch anything. So I don't know if it was something in the air or something, I don't know. But he he was absolutely fine and took such great care of me. Got me the flowers or like a little Christmas bouquet. And he was literally nursing me the whole weekend. And yesterday I felt a little bit better, still a little bit weak I and mean, then today also still feel like I'm getting better. I feel like my body's kind of building the bacteria up again, but yeah, I don't look fabulous, but I literally feel like I look. So I thought I would just come on here and cook with you. We're going to make a little bit of dinner and then hopefully tomorrow things will be back to normal again, I hope. So let's cook, let's wind down for the evening and shower, get into different pajamas <laughs> and rest because rest is the most important thing when you're not feeling that great. of the year where I just want to chill I don't want to put any makeup on so I don't have any makeup on today but my hair is freshly washed and I have like a cute little comfy outfit on I'm gonna run some errands and I thought I'd bring you along was already making us lunch a little sandwich and some chicken strips and i got this as i was in pick and pay i quickly popped into pick and pay as i was getting the car washed and i left with 
some treats and some things that I wanted to share with you, Libby. So we have a little girl that's turning one in the family and I wanted to get her little cute dresses for her gift. I'm sure her mom will really appreciate these um, and I feel like when they're so young, gifts are really hard and I think clothes, because they grow up so fast, I think is never a bad idea. I got all of them in 12 to 18 months. She's quite the chunky girly, so I'm sure these will fit her all throughout this summer, hopefully. But look how cute these is. A little matching set. So it's like a dress, kind of long top vibe and a short. Like, look at this detail. I love it. And then also this denim one. This one has shorts as well, like a little diaper cover type of short. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I literally can't deal. And then this was just a dress. I just loved the like print and just the softness of it. And because she's a Christmas baby, I had to get something Christmassy. So I got her a little Christmas tutu and um little alice band i got brain this shirt just says south africa he is currently watching cricket so i mean that is just perfect and then i got myself an outfit i also got eggs domestos i got a little game and i got myself an outfit that i'm gonna wear i'll probably show you tomorrow when i put it on but i just got a little i don't have a red top at all like not even a tank top so when i saw this i was like yes please loving raid at the moment as you know and then i just got these pants I actually didn't try them on but i really really loved them so that i got from pick and pay clothing and then as i was getting the car washed i quickly popped into the normal pick and pay i really want to style the shelves and do like a little bit of a Christmas vibe. So I thought I would get this pastely sage green. And then I also got a little sparkly reindeer. This I fell in love with at Pick and Pay. They have a couple of different ones. But I literally fell in love. I'm going to put it on the table now. And then for Christmas we have Secret Santa. And we have a budget of 150 Rand. Like what the hell do you buy for 150 Rand? So I saw this at Pick and Pay part of the day range. This was around like 70-ish and then this was 70 or 80 Rand. So this will be a gift and then the other one, salt and pepper electric little thingy. That's really nice. So that's going to be one gift. The other gift and then I got those for the shelves and then I really just impulse buy, impulse bought some sweet treats <laughs> and some lychees olives sprinkles cookies m&ms i got us a dessert for tonight and i really want to make chocolate christmas i think they call it christmas bark so i want to try and make that tonight but i'm gonna see how i'm gonna style the shelves first
annoys you balancing on the mirror in the bathroom if this like gold annoys you i think it kind of looks cute really reminds me of like some tv show filming you'll always notice in my videos i like to like diffuse the camera with something in front of it it just softens it a little bit i really do enjoy it but if it annoys you let me know but it's just i feel like it's become my style of filming and i really love that getting ready don't really want to i would love to just stay makeup free all day i've also popped my hair into heatless curls because i got my hair dyed recently so i'm trying to just cut back on any heat and just styling so i'm just trying to see if this is going to work for my video so i'm putting makeup on because i'm filming a video for pick and pay really excited to be working with them i went yesterday to pick up some of the things and just like style my content and just plan process you know so today i'm going to film it i really don't want to film today because the weather is a little bit off so it's like sunny and cloudy which means the light is ever changing and it really just messes with the video so much you either have to stop change your settings continue filming remember the kind of look and feel you were going for sometimes the clip goes really warm sometimes it goes really cool and it's just frustrating i would normally just avoid shooting on a day like this but i can't i just can't people are going on leave i have content to submit in order to get it up on time most of the times i will just ask the brand for an extension which they normally don't mind but you know, especially this time of the year everyone is just tired everyone just wants to finish and just get it done so yeah i'm just trying to be mindful of that and also mindful of the fact that not only do i have a job but someone has a job involving my job so if i don't submit something on time or get something on done on time they can't so i'm just trying to be mindful of that so just gonna see what happens finish my makeup and then i want to show you um, the outfit I got so whenever I'm shooting content for a brand for example pick and pay they sell multiple things groceries <laughs> they sell clothes so if I do like a video and I can purchase like a little top from them or an outfit to just keep it uniform so in case you know someone asks where's your top I feel like it's very much like on brand I do have a degree in marketing so I try and apply some of the things that I learned when I was in university just to my job because I feel like I have that advantage and if I can wear something from the brand that I'm working with, I mean, why not? Like, why not do that? So yeah, I'm going to finish my makeup, see what my hair looks like, put on my outfit and then we are going to get to filming. <laughs> I'm not naked by the way yesterday I decided to do like 12 days of Christmas on TikTok like little mini vlogmas half of vlogmas and completely forgot about you over here so I am so sorry I do apologize back to normal programming I will prioritize YouTube and then I'll TikTok will be second but I'm shooting something for my reels today. So let's get dressed. I'm going to be wearing this, which I'm very, very excited about. Because I got this just because I loved it and I knew I would wear it for something. Turns out it fits absolutely perfectly with Body Shop. 
and the colour. So I just took a shower, the most beautiful smelling shower ever. Used the cherries and cheer. Love that. I'm going to be so sad when this festive season is over because I love this range so, so much. But I'm going to do like a little shop with me. I will, of course, bring you along here on YouTube as well. So I'm going to get dressed and then I'll show you my outfit. of the three for two sale so i got nice gift sets like literally three for two on everything so buy three pay for the cheapest one so you can literally take three of the same thing three sets gift sets and then you get one for free so that's what i did i can't even show you because they're all kind of gift wrapped but maybe later on i can show you like on my phone. I know I got the, like a coconut set. I got um, a pears and chair. I got the cherries and chair. Like a little set with a cute little baggie. And then I got like a little set for Bren, like a shaving and aftershave, like really cute. And I think I also got a strawberries set with a little baggie. So that is sorted. And as I was waiting for them, because it was quite a few things and I didn't want to stand there and rush them, I just waited for them and I went into ARC and I popped into poetry and I got so many cute things. So when I went to NARS, they actually didn't have my shade. I wanted to pick up the Soft Matte Complete Concealer, like a full coverage concealer in a pot. I think my shade is custard, I'm not sure, and because of that, I, you can't get samples in concealer, but you can get a little sample in the foundation, so I thought I would just get two shades to compare it with. I completely trusted the lady at the counter, and she gave me Vienna and Dreville, I think that's how you pronounce it. One is a bit, both are neutral, one is just a bit more pinky, and one is a bit more olivey. So we shall see. I will let you know how it is. And then I also popped into poetry. Got the cutest thing. I'm going to give you two seconds to guess. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now comment what you think I bought at poetry. And I'm pretty sure you're going to guess something gold, which you're right. There's a lot of gold in here. And the other thing, I hope you get it right, a bow. <laughs> I have, these bows have such a chokehold on me at the moment. I feel like it's become my whole personality. And whenever I see them, I just have to buy them. So this one was $1.79, a lot cheaper. Not a lot cheaper, but a little bit cheaper than the Levisa ones. This one is from Levisa. I got a couple of them in the previous vlog. And I feel like these feel higher quality than the Levisa ones. The Levisa ones still feel good quality, but this, and this is like a powdery, kind of dusty blue. I love it so much. And then gold. Gold, gold, gold. I love this. It's like showing a bestie what I got. This 
one says sugar sugar da -da 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 -da. Oh, honey honey I didn't get anything that said honey but I got one that said butter so I'm gonna use this after Christmas once we do our little reset and like clear out because the one I'm currently using is a Christmassy one you know this one this little Christmassy one so I'm using that one once we take everything down for Christmas I will put the butter in that one and it can be like part of our little reset so I'm just gonna put it away for now but I am going to put the sugar and all of the cookies I bought, I'm going to put in the biscuit jar tin and I'm going to do like a cute little display. <laughs> again we went for a little pub lunch pub lunch pub dinner <laughs> last <laughs> night and then a bunch of our friends rocked up there and we only left at 11 but it's kitty zamba leafies since we're working the only way for us to have like a proper december is to do like little things like this like go to a pub the spa like we are today <laughs> remember i told you i booked this like weeks ago so we're gonna have a little breakfast and a relaxing spa treatment husband and wife first spa treatment is husband and wife no. for your birthday because i had a massage. okay 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 <laughs> treatment then we popped into Woolies quickly just to get some bry meat for our bry we're going to a family bry packed up all of the little dresses for our birthday girl and look how cute so there's another little girl gonna be there one of our friends girls and she's always so obsessed with my handbags me she always wants to like carry my bags and see what's in it and like pack everything out. Not that I mind at all. So when I saw this, I just had to get it for her. It looks like a little Chanel bag. How cute is that? There's like a little chain inside. It's like the longest chain. Like this is literally like taller than she is. This is gonna literally drag on the ground Christmas on my mind somewhere from a place up high above there's a song of love travel
up still feel a little bit crusty after the spa but we spend time with family and now the boys want to do something so we're going somewhere with virtual golf something something and that is my husband calling I'm gone, I'm gone. what are we doing we're going to play golf like what is it like virtual golf virtual golf so it's real golf but in a in the screen so you don't have to We'll bring you along. <laughs> you can play at night. She's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Brain is gonna take us on a little Christmas outing. We just finished up at church and now we're gonna. What? Where are you taking us? Emperor's Palace? Emperor's Palace. To watch a Christmas lights. Some Christmas lights and some Christmas market, hopefully. Hopefully. we. I saw it on TikTok and I sent it to him like a couple, like almost like two weeks ago. No, More than it seems to be last week. Last week? Now we're going this week. And then he said he wants to take me today. that I got to but hopefully I can get like a similar one with maybe like trees on it I don't know I just I'm loving it the house is becoming quite tacky 
but very festive and very cozy. Brain is watching sport. I'm watching Harry Potter. I'm probably gonna fall asleep in the next 10 minutes because I'm really exhausted from this weekend. It was quite the busy weekend. We didn't manage to watch the Christmas lights at Emperor's Palace because we found out it's only on in the evening. So we went to the Christmas market instead and we'll go to that in this week. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog, miss. Love you so, so, so much. And I hope you are having a wonderful Christmas. Mwah.